Manchester United have really started strongly here from their last six. And Godfrey's been drawn out there with Rashford, and Anthony arrives at the far post. And Manchester United lead after just three minutes, and it's been coming. They lack cover back there. Everton, they look misshapen. He's onside, clearly. And what a dreadful start for Everton on this awful run without a winning seven. Nikolenko. Here's Gray. Space to get the shot away, hit the post. Might have gone in, you know. The rebound off De Gea. They haven't been in the game at all up until this moment. But look at the space here for Damare Gray. Not a great clearance away. And now, no, was that a foul? Here's Mope. Oh, Cody scored! What on earth was David De Gea doing? What an appalling piece of goalkeeping. One of the worst howlers you'll see all season. Got his legs wrong, got his hand wrong, leaning on the post. And Cody Gleeful has equalised. United left for just 11 minutes. Onana through. He's lost possession though, gave it away. And here's Rashford. But Martial wide. Martial! Oh, good save, Jordan Pickford. Not the first he's made in the game. Rashford, outstanding on the night, running against Everton's defence. And as they backpedalled, Martial had the route. Here's Ericsson now for Manchester United. Rashford. Coleman got across too late. Rashford to the dead ball line. Oh, it's in off Cody, he scored at both ends. Seven minutes into the second half, United are ahead again. They started with Rashford strong on the left for the first goal. And they started the second half in equal fashion. Turned and twisted Coleman inside out. Showed him the wrong way, Coleman, really. And Cody stabbed it beyond Pickford. Coleman forward. And here's Decore on as a sub. Strong run by him into the penalty area. Coleman picks it up. Oh, it's Mikolenko. Couldn't finish. Dallo blocks. No great contact in the middle. Great surging run by Decore. And no contact in there at all. Erickson with a free kick. Here's Dino Fernandez. Neat save by Pickford. Should be making those saves, but he's been making them all night. Strong hat. Quickly on by Calvert Lewin. That's a lovely touch there by Gray Common in support. Gray is wide. Calvert Lewin is in the middle. Gray, just a suspicion he might have been offside. Gray gets the cross and it's in off Calvert Lewin. They're level. What an impact he's had off the bench. But will this count? Coleman, as he plays it wide, I think he's offside. This will go to VAR. I'm sure to get chalked off. Calvert Lewin timed his run so well. Just what he needed that. But it won't count. I'm sure it won't. Disson out. United still ahead. Oof. Inches. Fred. Bruno Fernandez. Here's young Ganacho with the run. Godfrey trying to catch him up. Does catch him up. Oh, has he found it? He has penalty given. And United can seal it here. There's the foot. There's the contact. Ganacho went down. No complaints from Everton, really. And Marcus Rashford fitting that he can have the last say. And he does. It's five goals in five games without starting Rashford. And Manchester United through by three goals to one. Rashford can really strike them from this sort of distance. He's done so again, bringing the save from Lumley. It's Ericsson on the follow-up. Mamadou Loom making the all-important block. Anthony keeping the attacking play alive. Here's the free kick from Rashford, close to the goalkeeper who saw it coming all the way. Anthony. Testing Baba Rahman's legs once again. 
Still Anthony. What a pass, Fernandez. Almost opened up there for Bruno Fernandez, created by Anthony. Anthony once more. Here's Casemiro. Big course underneath it. Here's Rashford at the far post. Has it gone over the line? Yes, it has. Marcus Rashford for Manchester United scores for the tenth home match in a row. Or does he? Wout Weghorst may be in an offside position there. It definitely goes over the line. But it will not count. Wout Weghorst offside. It's still goalless. To it. Roman's ball in. This is Malassia. Hoylet's in there. Oh, it was a chance there for Reading, right on the stroke of half time. I think it came off David De Gea's boot in the end as the ball broke loose. Hoylet stealing in and almost scoring. Anthony, what a ball, here's a chance, Casemiro! Reading's resistance is broken. Beautiful pass from Anthony and an exquisite finish from Casemiro. Everything about that goal oozed quality. Here's Fred, looking to Casemiro, oh, at the double! Two goals in less than five minutes. Manchester United 2, Reading 0. Fernandes with the pass back and Casemiro fire a deflection. There's Andy Carroll bundling Taro Malassia over the touchline. There he is, uh, an unnecessary yellow card for the Reading striker. Back with Casemiro and sliding in there about half an hour late was Andy Carroll and he'll be in real trouble here. Two quick yellow cards and Andy Carroll is sent off and Reading will play the last 25 minutes with 10 men. The referee had no alternative. Here's Fernandez in. Fred! Oh, what a finish! A Dennis Law like flick from Fred. Just watch this. Just onside. And what a finish. 3 0 Manchester United. There'll be no coming back for Reading. Oh, the championship team are still plugging away and they are on the board Amadou and Benge that's a really good header from the Senegalese substitute Manchester United 3 Reading 1 He's a senior player. And set up for Savica. Very good save by Ariola. Well, it's good play to start with by McTominay. Look at the touch there. And then Vekhorst, which was a really good one. Savica with the strike. I have to say, it's a brilliant save. McTominay, a good space for himself. Garnacho, plenty forward for Manchester United. Garnacho goes for goal, carried out to Dallow, and then Veghorst was offside. Johnson has to go and meet Garnacho further out. He just allows him to run in field. It's a decent effort. Not the greatest of saves, I would say, by Areola, but you can see Veghorst was offside as it came back in from Fernandez. 
Chairman Kuhl Malassia holding the touchline, but ball didn't get to him. It's Ben Rama, and now Antonio, can he get in a goal here? Mikel Antonio for West Ham, and De Gea determined to add to his tally of clean sheets. Well, the two centre-backs just don't see it at all. You're playing against one centre-forward who loves to run in behind, and they went to sleep. Maguire was ball-watching, Lindelof didn't get back in a good position. He doesn't really do enough to score, does he? Antonio. Back it up. So check. Manchester United appealing that the ball's gone out. They stopped for a moment. And they might be punished for that. Ben Rama! <laughs> West Ham lead at Old Trafford. Well, it's a great finish. Was the ball out of play? That's the big question. As you said, Manchester United stopped playing. Emerson finds the perfect pass, and that's an even better finish from Ben Rama. Right into the far corner. Really good strike from him. Manchester United nil, West Ham United one. Here's Antonio. Against Martinez, he's only just on and he skipped past him. West Ham are in again here. And uh, De Gea wins that duel once more. In the 1v1, I'm not sure how much he knows about Antonio. He's got pace, he's got power, and this time he does everything right. He tries to bend it into the far corner. And again, what a save from David De Gea. Manchester United looking for an equaliser here, and they've got it. Well, if it's Ooh. Casemiro, he will be offside. It's a lovely ball played in. And it is Casemiro. I think this will be disallowed. And there we have confirmation. Fighting some pressure. West Ham now. Bruno Fernandes applying the pressure, and it counts. Another ball into the box that they don't defend, and I don't think the offside flag is going to come to their rescue this time. And I can't believe that this one won't count. Well, it does look as though it could be an own goal here. Let's have another look. Does Veghorst get a touch on it? No, he doesn't. Again. Okay. Yeah. Again, own goal. By Bruno Fernandes, I guess, and he put it to Beckhorst. Reflection only arrives at the feet of Garnacho. Oh! Superb strike, and Manchester United have come back from a goal down to lead 2 1 in the last knockings of this fifth round FA Cup tie. Here's the first ball played in. Rashford wasn't offside, so that's not a problem. Garnacho wasn't offside either, and when he bends the ball into the corner, it's a magnificent goal and probably the match-winning goal from a brilliant young player. Yeah, no reprieve for West Ham, no one in the line of the shot. Running out of time, there's Casemiro again, putting out fires. Bruno trying to win a free kick, doesn't need to. Might be in again, Rashford. Oh, so close. They might not need his uh, golden touch this time because it's come from another quarter. And here's Fred. And they've got another one. Wrapped up. And West Ham. Beaten really by the second goal. And Manchester United are on the verge of a third consecutive 3 1 win in home games in this FA Cup. Now, William. A positive start this from Fulham, and Diop is up there. Tried to loop it over De Gea. I think that was probably the only option for him. Marco Silva's sent his side out here on the front foot. Ramasaka's throw. 
They really haven't got going, Manchester United. Maybe now, Sabitzer can hit it, hits it well. And they've got plenty behind it. In a clever way, he dragged it into the shooting position. And really connected after that. Pereira's corner. Right round the back to William. Who shifts it and shoots. And what a fine shot it was. You get a better view from this angle. And De Gea got a hand on it. That's remarkable goalkeeping. And the Manchester United veteran. Corner, Pereira. Diop. Mitrovic! Scores in the FA Cup for the very first time. Manchester United caught cold. And it was tidily wrapped in by Mitrovic. And Fulham lead early in the second half here. Mitrovic! De Gea at full stretch. The drop from Reed. Back to Willian. The goal up and looking for more. Mitrovic! Plenty of power behind it. But, uh, this was the one. So close to making it 2 0. Elasticity from David De Gea. Well, they can break now. Anthony, fresh legs. Sancho keeping pace with it. And he's clear. Jaden Sancho round the keeper. Great chance for the equaliser. Stopped on the line by William. But with what part of his body? He says the chest. I don't think that's universally agreed here, especially by the officials. That looks like handball. Chris Cavada having a look at the monitor. And if it's handball, it's a red card, it's a penalty. And Marco Silva has had his say. And he's off. William will have to go off. It's a heroic effort to get back on the line. And Mitrovic has been doing a bit of pushing and shoving on the referee. You can't do that. So it's Bruno Fernandes. Well, it's 1-1. It's level on the scoreline, but not in terms of players on the pitch. Manchester United handed a great chance here. And no faltering from Fernandez. Sancho. Rolling it for sure. Across for Savitzer. His first goal for the club. And it's put them 2-1 up in an FA Cup quarter-final at Old Trafford. Checked by VAR. But no offside call to rescue Fulham. Depleted Fulham. Set up by Shaw. And it's the back of the heel. Fernandez. Anthony, good hit. Ooh, and it was parried out by Leno almost into the path of Veghorst. Nine man Fulham. Without a manager in the dugout as well. Just want this to end. And they're in such a promising position early in the second half. Remember, Manchester United have won all their ties in this season's FA Cup by three goals to one. And we can add today to that a second for Bruno Fernandes. So many gaps here. And Manchester United ruthless to the end. They are into the semi-final. Controversially, from Fulham's point of view, but they were authors of their own downfall. Callister standing over this, he's whipped it towards that far post and De Gea makes the save. Really good attempt that by Alexis McAllister. And he just gets his wrist on it, I think.
Lively start from Brighton. Now Manchester United looking to respond. Anthony for Ericsson. For Bruno, it opens up for Bruno Fernandes. Comfortable save in the end for Sanchez. Nice ebb and flow to this. Almost felt like a game in which there'd be goals, and it still feels that way. Here's Enciso. Now Mitoma, first chance for him to have a run at them. Juan Biseca with the challenge, Enciso! Just wide. Starting to warm up here, and he might have done better. Anthony forward quickly here for Bruno Fernandes. Flashes just wide. How many times have we seen him in this position score? Pushed him towards that far post, and the header was by Webster. Follow up by Mitoma, and a flashing hit from Enciso. De Gea with a really good save. That was powered in, and he just gets the right hand onto it. Long towards Bruno Fernandes, lovely touch there for Anthony. Again, Sanchez taking no chances. Comfortable pushing it away from goal here. His march. He's trying to cut inside and just find some space. And De Gea does well. Down low. March tried to catch him out there. Might just be heading for extra time here. Two sets of tired players, and that was a tired error. Forward now for Rashford, deflected! Terrific save by Sanchez. Really good stop this. Because Rashford took up a good position. Webster and then that left hand from Sanchez. Anybody's game now at Wembley. Here's Solly March again, charging at them, just trying to find that bit of space and too easy for De Gea. Are we going to find a winning goal here in extra time? Long towards Rashford. Had to be careful here. Brightman backing off him, Rashford. Firing well wide. His kind of position there. Matoma wants it played, and now he has it. Can he just conjure something here late on? He keeps going, but the touch is heavy. And so is the challenge. He's lucky here, Mitoma. Six, six, twelve perfect penalties. Solly March blazes high into the Wembley night. Manchester United for a place in the final. Lindelof. Keeps his nerve. It's going to be a Manchester derby in the FA Cup final. A nerveless set of penalties from Manchester United. Thursday's disappointment behind them. It's Manchester United who march on. Where's Harry Bows before we game apparently three bags of Star Mix?